Hello, uh, today this video we're going to look at the product rule and the product rule basically says that if you have two functions, uh, function f and function g, and we want to find the derivative, you're going to take the first function f and just write it down the way it's written and multiply that by the derivative of function g plus function g multiplied by the derivative of function f. So in other words, you can think of this as f of x times g of x. Then you're going to take, uh, in a sense, I like to think of it as this is your first function, f. So then the, the product rule says you're going to write down the first function. And then you're going to multiply that by the derivative of your second function. So if f is the first, g is the second, then you're going to take the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second, and then you're going to take plus the second function multiplied by the derivative of your first function. Okay, so that's another way that you can look at uh, defining the product rule. Now here we use the function notation f of x times g of x is equal to f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x. An alternate way to look at this, and you may want to start getting familiar with this notation, uh, most textbooks when they use this notation here, they're going to use the letters u and v. And keep in mind here that u is not just a variable and v is just not a variable, but u is representing the function uh, in terms of x. So in other words, here u is in a sense representing function f of x and v is representing g of x. Uh, it's just kind of a short way of writing the notation without doing this function notation f of x and g of x. So we can simply say u times v. If we want to take the derivative use the product rule, you can say u times v prime plus v times u prime. So once again, that's still saying you're going to take the first multiplied by the derivative of the second plus the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first. Okay, so you may want to get used to the notation uv, uv prime plus v, u prime. So let's apply this to the example down here below. Uh, we have our function y equals x cubed plus 5 times 4x squared minus x. And instead of using f and g, I'm going to use u and v. So we could look at this as being u, our first function. 4x squared minus x is our v. So if we want to find the derivative y prime, then it says we're going to write down u just the way it is, x cubed plus 5. And now we're going to multiply this by the derivative of v. So we're going to take the derivative of the second part. So 4x squared becomes 8x. And then we have derivative of x here would be minus 1. Plus v, so then we're going to write down function v, 4x squared minus x. And again, that's going to be multiplied by the derivative of u. So that would be 3x squared. And there's your derivative. So here you end up with u times v prime plus v times u prime. And again, I think an easy way to think of this is you have first times the derivative of the second plus the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first. And at this point, all we have left is to basically simplify uh, combining any like terms here. So we can actually go ahead and multiply this one out. Uh, we have x cubed and 8x, so that would be 8x to the fourth minus x cubed plus 40x minus 5. 
And then we would over here, we were going to distribute the 3x squared. So we would have 12x to the fourth minus 3x cubed. And if we combine our like terms, we have 8x to the fourth, 12x to the fourth. So we're going to end up with 20x to the fourth minus negative 3x cubed and negative x cubed is 4x cubed. And then we have our 40x minus 5. Okay, so there's the simplified version of our derivative. All right, let's try another example. <clears throat> and again, if you want to pause the video, you can try to work this one out on your own. Uh, so this is very similar to the previous one. Uh, we have our product rule we're going to use. Now, for example, if you for this one, I mean, if you didn't want to use the product rule, then you could multiply this out and take the derivative of each individual term. But we want to get practice with using the product rule. So here we have u and v. And the product rule says we want to take the and write down the first function, 3x minus x squared, multiplied by the derivative of the second. So that would just simply be 4 plus our second function multiplied by the derivative of the first, which would be 3 minus 2x. And once again, at this point, all we have left to do is simplify. So if we multiply here, we get 4 times 3. We get 12x minus 4x squared. And then we get plus 15 and then we have a negative 5 and 2 we have a negative 10x and then we have 12x 4x and 3 so you have 12x minus 10x so that would be 2x minus 8x squared and if we collect our like terms negative 8x squared negative 4x squared negative 12x squared, 12x and 2x is 14x, and then we bring down our 15. Okay, so there's two examples of the product rule, and if we look at one more example here using uh, a trig function, and this one here you may want to be a little careful with. <clears throat> and notice we have y equals 3x squared times sine x. At first you may not notice this as a product, but we really have 3x squared multiplied by sine of x. So here if we're going to take the derivative, we have u and v. So therefore we would write down 3x squared multiplied by v prime and the derivative of sine remember this is one you just have to memorize the derivative of sine is cosine plus v multiplied by the derivative of u the first so 3x squared becomes 6x. So there's the derivative. And then from here, all we have left to do is simplify. So at this point, really, the only thing we can do is actually just maybe write this as 3x squared times cosine x. We can drop out the parentheses plus put the 6x in front. So 6x times the sine of x. You'll find out normally with uh, trig functions, 
Here we will normally put any terms multiplied in front of the trig function. Uh, one other thing you'll notice here, when I'm going through the product rule, I will tend to take and put uh, u and v prime and v and u prime. You'll notice I'll put those in parentheses. I think if you put u in parentheses, your first function, then multiplied by the derivative in parentheses, it helps you see clearly each function. So I think you're less likely to make a mistake. So as you go through the first step here, I would put parentheses around u, v prime, v, and u prime. And then in your next step, you can eliminate any unnecessary parentheses, just like we did here. Now, uh, with some of your practice problems or the quizzes, you're going to notice that they're going to do some uh, further simplification with their problems. For example, here, both of these terms contain a 3x squared or an x, and they contain a 3 and a 6. So they could factor out a 3x. If we take out the 3x, you're left with x cosine of x plus and if we take out a 3x out of the 6x, you're simply left with 2 sine of x. So just be aware that with your multiple choice answers, they can do some uh, different types of factoring to simplify your answer. Okay, so be very careful here because at first you may think you got your answer completely wrong and all they did was do some basic factoring or simplification. So once again, this is the product rule, and u times v, when you're multiplying, you simply take the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second, plus the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first.